Hi there guys, so I have been given this Anyscan A30M to do a quick review on. It's a diagnostics tool made by Xtool. Um, now unfortunately I have had this a while and I did have an incident with a grinder on the box, so um, that's why it's a little bit tatty. So let's get it out. It's for Android, excuse my phone going off. And it's a plug-in ODB tool, which you connect to your mobile phone. And... Um, hopefully you can do diagnostic stuff with it so we don't have any instructions in the box qr code for manual okay so that's why so we can look at that on there um it's for android and apple apparently it does all makes and models and all systems we'll see about that shall we uh, abs bleeding airbag reset steering angle adjustment service light reset uh, battery monitoring monitoring um lots of different things dpf resets injector coding tire pressures All right okay so that seems quite complete so let's have a look and see if we can download the software a 30 m any scan while that's installing let's have a look at the quality of the unit it's uh, got a little bit of weight to it We've got an LCD screen at the front. The port itself is quite strong because what happens sometimes on some of the units I've had, they're made of cheap plastic and the actual entrance to get it into the port warps. But this is nice and straight and nice and strong. It is quite long, so if you're trying to probably plug it into your ODB port and leave it plugged in and you've got a fuse box cover or something to put back in the way, it may struggle to uh, get that back on. But if you've got a lot of depth in there, it should be pretty good. It also comes with a torch which is quite handy when you've got to find those little uh, ODB ports at the back of a fuse box. Okay, right, this is AnyScan installed now. Which way is it going to work? We'll agree to the user agreement um, while using the app. Allow access to photos. And, yeah, there's nothing on there anyway, it's an old phone. Okay, right, I'm just going to add all these details off camera and we'll uh, then take it to a car and hopefully get it connected. Okay, we are now all active and in. On the certificate here, you get all the login details, so I will keep that off screen, or I might have to blur it out if you've seen it already. Um, right, so it's all activated, so it's pretty similar to a diagnostics tool I've had off them before. Um, and we can't do anything yet because we've got a login. Let's see if there's any updates. Let's do some updates on it. So we'll skip to all those being done, and then we'll go to uh, a car I've got here. Right, let's connect to my 2016 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Pop the ignition on. Okay, right, just going to go into Bluetooth settings and make sure it's connected, which it is. All I had to do was go into the Bluetooth settings on here, then open the Bluetooth settings down there. It will then take you to the phone's settings where you can connect on the A30M and then it'll connect to it. And they'll just come into this car now and it's automatically connected to it. So now we want to go into diagnostics, America, Jeep. Uh, we'll go for automatic selection, see if it'll find it first. Okay, it did actually find it then. It's a 2014 Grand Cherokee. So let's go for an automatic scan. I've already started the engine. It's just connecting to all the different modules on the car or trying to connect to them now. Okay, report all DTCs. Okay, it was just low battery voltage by the look of it. A six cylinder glow plug, suspended, okay. So it's come up with some faults on this car that I didn't know they were there, so let's clear them all and see what comes back. I'm pretty sure the only one that will come back will be the bonnet, because it's running perfectly fine.
There you go. The only fault is the one which I knew was there, the hood ajar, because it's misbehaving, the alarm keeps going off, so I need to order a new one. Uh, exit that. Let's go back out and see what we can connect to. Special functions. Will it connect to the systems for America Jeep? No, nope, won't connect to the airbag. No trouble codes found. We don't want to write the values or anything like that. So yeah, I'm impressed that it'll connect to that because the Jeeps, it's quite uh, a niche car. Um, we don't want to do tire upgrades. So yeah, you can do quite a lot with this. Can you do the oil reset? Because you actually do this via the pedals. It's automatically selected again. It does tend to take longer when you do automatic selections rather than manual selecting. But if you're in a car and you don't know what engine's in it or what year it is, then uh, this will uh, eliminate uh, the guesswork. And once you, it's communicating with it, you can't back out of it. So that is one sort of little uh, downfall of it. It does appear I have a faulty glow plug as well, so I'll be getting that changed. Okay. Right, there we go. So we've seen what we can do on this. You can do quite a lot. It's only sort of a brief going over of it, but you can see it will connect to most things on the Jeep. And now I'm going to be connecting to this 2015 Audi A4 diesel just to see if we can connect to all the systems in the car. Just downloaded the Audi update. Okay, the update is now been applied, so let's push auto scan. This is the first time I've used it but it is very similar to actual handheld machine I've got. So it shouldn't really take um, too much to uh, sort it all out. So let's read fault codes first. I would like to think we haven't got any fault codes, but it is coming back with some. It's gonna take a minute to go through all the systems. I have recently done a service on this, so it will be nice to reset the service light through this software. We'll just uh, skip until all these have done now. Okay, that's all done then, so let's have a look at what these faults are. Reduced oil pressure. Data we see tire pressure warning, yeah, you did have a puncher. Fuel filter problem, fuel filler lock problem, mechanical parking brake button. Okay, none of those really are anything I'd be concerned about. I think that should all clear. Well, most of them would anyway. The only troubling one was the oil pressure one. And that could have been due to a low battery or something like that. Okay, so none of the fault codes have come back which is what we wanted to hear. Just gonna check what other items we can connect to now. Let's have a little look at the DPF and see what we can do in there. I wonder if you can see how clogged it is. Whether well, you can regen it. Yes, you can regen it. We've got the option there. Ah, yeah, okay. So uh, quite impressive stuff. Now we're just going to look at the live data now and see what sensors we can connect to. Let's just scroll down the list. I won't go into it in any detail. You can check the fuel rail pressure. Does it give you a graph reading? Yes, it does. So that will come in handy for diagnosing injector faults and things like that. So there's loads of different modules, relays, computers, and switches and things like that you can connect to.
Yeah, tons of them. So overall, it actually is quite a fantastic bit of kit, which is going to come in very handy. It's something you can keep in your car or keep in your garage, and it will come in handy whenever you need to do your service resets. You've got a fault code, quickly plug it in, and away you go. So um, if you are interested in buying one of these, here is an 8% discount code on the screen now. I will also put it in the description below as well as the link. The purchase price for one of these is $199.99. I know some of you guys will say that is actually quite expensive, but to be honest, the amount you can save by using this, doing your own service resets and things like that, it will actually pay for itself in a couple of years. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next video.